let's take an example of macrophage processing the antigens. When the macrophage encounters the antigen, it engulfs the antigens inside the cell where it is processed and degraded into short peptides. These short peptides are presented via MHC which is in which is recognized by the naive T cells that has specific binding for these antigens. And subsequently this leads to the activation of T cells and activation of B cells that lead to the production of antibodies. So if you can see here, the antigen that are encountered by macrophages would stimulate the production of antibody. So how does this crosstalk between the macrophages and B cell occurs even though it's not direct? It is by a, a protein known as cytokines. Cytokines, so today we're gonna talk about the cytokines that include interferon, interleukin, and chemokines. What are cytokines? Cytokines are the proteins that are secreted by a variety of cells. Those cells include Those cells include dendritic cells, T cells, B cells, etc. And these cytokines bind to its specific receptor in the immune cells and regulate the immune response. These include, or the cytokines include, interleukins, interferons, chemokines, and hematopoietic cytokines. Interleukin are the cytokines that is secreted by the interleukins and act, secreted by the leukocytes and act on the leukocytes. Interferons are the protein that have first discovered to inhibit viral replication. The chemokines are generally chemoattractants that recruit the T cells or lymphocytes. And hematopoietic cytokines enhances the proliferation and differentiation of different immune cells. What are the characteristic features of cytokines? They include it is secreted by, by a specific target specific target cells or secreting cells. It has its own specific receptor on the target cell where it binds to. What it, once the cytokines come in close contact with the receptor, it will activate the signaling pathway. And once the signaling pathway is activated, it will induce the cellular response that ultimately leads to its function or biological response. So let's say the macrophage ha has secreted a cytokines that is specific to maybe T cells. These cytokines would be traveling to the and binding to the T cells via its specific receptor. And once it's, it binds to the specific receptor, it will induce the signal transduction that leads to its biological function. This biological function can be either cell-mediated cytotoxicity
or it can be helping antibody production. So how does this action occurs? It can occur by autocrine, paracrine, or endocrine function. So what is autocrine function of uh, cytokines? Let's say this is a T cell that is producing IL-2. The IL-2 that is produced by T cells would bind to its IL-2 receptor that is present on its T cell itself and that would lead to the activation of T cells. So this is known as autocrine because the target cell, secreting cell itself is a target cell. Next one is paracrine. When the cytokine secreted from the cytokine secreting cells would bind to the target cell that is nearby. And finally, the endocrine, when the cytokines that are secreted via the secreting cells would bind to the distant cells and it requires the, the cytokines are transported via circulation to reach to the target cells. These are called endocrine cells. So, Paracrine and endocrine and autocrine are the three different types of mechanism by which the cytokines would mediate its action. So when we talk about the cytokine function, cytokines function in various manners. As for example, it poses pleiotropy. What does pleiotropy mean? Pleiotropy means one cytokine with multiple function. One cytokine has multiple function. As for example, T cell secretes interleukin 4, and this interleukin 4 has receptor in B cells. T cells and the mast cells and all these cells are are proliferated in response to IL-4. Uh, second one is redundancy. Pleiotropy was one cytokine multiple function and redundancy means one function multiple cytokines basically. So if you look at IL-2, IL-4 and IL-5, all these three cytokines would have similar function that is proliferation of B cells. Synergy. Synergy occurs when two cytokines have a similar function and when they are acted on the concerted manner that would amplify or exponentially increase its signaling capacity. As for example, the IL-4 and IL-5 both have the capacity or its receptor and B cells and when it binds to, or these cytokines bind to the B cells, it will induce the Ig class switch. When both of these are together, they have, they would amplify that function. Antagonism. Antagonism is when occurs when the cytokines, or the two cytokines acts on opposite manner. 
as for example there are two cytokines these are two cytokines interferon gamma and interleukin 4 both are secreted by T cells when the inter when the T cells secrete interferon gamma that leads to the inhibition of B cell proliferation in contrast when the IL-4 is uh, secreted by the T cells it will produce the B cell proliferation so the balance between two is two inter interferon gamma and interleukin 4 would regulate the B cell proliferation and the final one is cascade induction where the T cell activation of T cells and the production of the interferon gamma would activate the macrophage and the the activated macrophage produces interleukin 2L which acts on the T cell for its activation and this again would lead to the activation of interferon gamma. So there is a uh, positive loop where uh, activation of one, one cell lead to the secretion of one cytokine that would in turn activate the next cell to produce the next cytokines. And it has, it will, it will again feed feedback loop to secret and activate more T cells and more cytokines. This is how the amplification occurs. What are the function of cytokines? Cytokines regulate the innate immune response, adaptive immune response, and hematopoietic response. So these are the examples of the cytokines that regulate the innate immune response. It includes interleukin-1, TNF-alpha, IL-12, IL-6, interferon, IFN-alpha, and interferon beta. So as you can see, interleukin-1 is secreted by monocytes and it helps in the inflammation fever, and induces fever. Similarly, there are other cytokines that are in the table that acts in various inflammatory process and innate immune response process. The next is the cytokines that regulate adaptive immune response. As for example, interleukin-2 activates or activate T cell proliferation. Interleukin-4 promotes TS2 differentiation. Interleukin-5 again eosinophil activation and generation. TGF beta inhibits T cell proliferation and interferon gamma activates the TH1 type response. And these are the cytokines that regulate the hematopoiesis. It includes erythropoietin, GCSF, thrombopoietin, ESCF, CKIT, GMCSF, and all these have a specific function in a specific type of tissues. And to just give you the idea of how the cytokine mediates its function, it binds to the receptor and there are different types of receptor for different cytokines. There are, the, there are certain cytokines that bind to the immunoglobulin superfamily receptor uh, or cytokine class 1 receptor, class 2 receptor. There are tumor necrosis factor receptors and chemokine receptors. We'll discuss about this specific type of receptor and its signal transduction pathway 
in coming lectures. In summary, today we discussed about the cytokines, how it regulates the immune response, and we also discussed about the receptors and how it binds to specific receptors to in an autocrine, paracrine, and endocrine fashion. And we also discussed about the diff distinct properties of the cytokines that include pleiotropy, redundancy, synergy, and agonism, and cascade induction.